Amy has um, quadriplegic spastic dystonia cerebral palsy and that basically means that all of her four limbs are affected. The spastic means the tightness of her muscles. Um, dystonia is the movement of her muscles so she gets a, a lot of muscle cramps with the dystonia. And then cerebral palsy means the messages from the brain to the muscles don't correspond with each other and they get very mixed. So when she wants to do something like reach for a toy it gets mixed up and she can't do it um, she also has a separate condition called pseudo bulbar palsy which um, means that she can't eat or swallow properly as the throat is partially paralyzed amy can't sit up independently by herself she needs some sort of support she can't stand again, she needs some sort of support via her equipment. She can't walk, she can't talk and she's tube fed via a, a Mickey button in her stomach that she had to have an operation for. And it just basically means for us as a family it's very hard to do daily things that you take for granted, like getting her dressed. She can't do much for herself, um, but she's a very happy little girl. Um, so Amy's underneath a total of 14 health professionals, and some of them include a paediatric consultant, a physiotherapist, an occupational therapist. She's under orthotics and orthopaedics, a visual impairment team, and I could go on and on and on. So when I was pregnant, I didn't know anything about group B strep. I found out that um, when you were pregnant, you can actually be tested for group B strep. Um, I was unaware of this when I was pregnant, else I would have opted for the test either by my midwife or got a private one. So um, if I had had the test when I was pregnant and I had, well, I would have been found to be positive, I could have had antibiotics as I was in labour, which could have prevented Amy from being ill as what she was and not having the extent of damage that she has had and the disabilities that have consequently come from the meningitis. So since finding out about group B strep, I try and tell as m many people as I can about it to try and raise the awareness. Um, my husband's cousin who was actually pregnant a short while after I had had Amy um, I explained to her about the group B strep test she went approached her midwife and got the test done and she came back as being positive um, which was quite heartbreaking to hear um, but she was able to have the antibiotics while she was in labour and she gave birth to a perfectly healthy little girl I think a national screaming programme would be absolutely amazing so that everyone, every pregnant woman got tested for group B strep because the costs of having a disabled child or even in fact losing a child from group B strep out, outweigh the cost of a, of a test. It's, it's just mad how they don't, haven't bought it in already. It's, you know, other countries do it, so why don't ours?